As the debate over a new state budget drags on, it's become more and more apparent that the differences on key issues are as much geographical as philosophical. Put another way, the recent disputes have again laid bare the great divide between Milwaukee and the rest of the state. Just over a week ago, in a particularly blunt moment on Twitter, Assembly Majority Leader Jim Steinecke of Kokana noted the difference between Minnesota and Wisconsin, tweeting, Minnesota also has a first-class city that isn't a drain on the rest of the state. Steinecke later tweeted that he grew up in Milwaukee. He loves the city, just wants it to do better. But his original tweet illustrates a sentiment widely held outside the city, that Milwaukee's problems weigh the state down, that Milwaukee already gets too much money, small towns and villages too little. So in some respects, it's not surprising to see outstate lawmakers balk at using state money to help fund an arena in downtown Milwaukee. Nor was it terribly surprising to see a majority of Republican lawmakers in the state assembly say last week that if road projects have to be delayed, everyone should share the pain. Not just smaller projects in more rural parts of the state, but big ones, like the rebuilding of the zoo interchange in Milwaukee County. Just how these disputes ultimately play out is still to be determined. But given the current composition and disposition of the state legislature, bridging the great divide in this year's budget won't be easy. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.